This is the first video for section SEQRI. In this video we're looking at Pascal's triangle. Now when we're creating Pascal's triangle you have to remember that the rows always start and end with a 1. So that's the start of our Pascal's triangle. So we have 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 and then another 1, 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3 and then another 1, 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4 and then a 1 and it just continues where you're adding those elements. Okay. In terms of row numbers we start with row 0 and then we work our way down. So you'll see that the row number corresponds to the first element. Okay. In terms of elements we always start with the zero element and that's why that 4 is a second element. Okay. So if we look at this row here, that's the zeroth element and that 3 is the first element. Okay. So in an example here, complete the next two rows of Pascal's triangle, rows 7 and 8. So we're given row 6, we start with a 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, 6 plus 15 is 21, 15 plus 20 is 35 and then we start repeating ourselves in the reverse order. From there 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, 7 plus 21 is 20. 8, 21 plus 35 is 56, then we have 70 and then we start repeating in the opposite order. Okay, what is the fourth element of row 8? Well, we can look here, that's row 8, the fourth element's 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's 56. Which elements of row 7 have values of 21? Well, row 7 is here, 21 is here, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the second and fifth. There's only one exercise in the textbook and that's SEQR I1.